Hello my fellow book addicts, Megan here, and time for another book review. Today, I'm going to be talking about Living with the Dead by Kelly Armstrong, and this is the next book in the Woman of the Otherworld series. I just gotta say, this has to be my least favorite book in the series so far. I just... There just wasn't a whole lot that I loved about this book like the other books. It's a little different from how the other books run. It's told in the third person versus the first person like all the other books thus far. And we are following a... And we're switching points of view a lot. There's like at least three or four points of view in this story. And I felt that was a little much. It got a little confusing and I understood why it needed to be done. But I didn't like it. I just... I like having the one point of view from the main female protagonist, like all the other books. It, I just felt it was a really weird change up compared to all the other books. And our main female protagonist isn't a supernatural like in all the other books. She is actually a human whose name is Robin. And Robin, she had lost her husband a little while ago. She, he was shot down and I did feel bad for her. And in a an attempt to kind of get away from his memory, she moved to LA and became the PR of this bratty socialite girl. When her client is violently murdered, she is like the prime suspect to this murder and basically the whole book is her trying to prove that she is innocent and turn herself in to give her side of the story. But while she's doing all this, there is a supernatural, like, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, like, like a Chloe Vence, who's after her because Robin is in possession of a picture that will incriminate her, and the Chloe Vence is, name is Adele, and she wants to get the picture from Robin or kill her in the process, and it's, it's a huge mess. And Hope and Carl have a role in this as well. Hope is friends with Robin. They've been friends since, like, high school. And Robin doesn't know that Hope's a half-demon. She has no idea about the supernatural world at all. And, you know, there's a detective in this. And he's, like, a very, very weak, watered-down necromancer. But he doesn't know it. All he knows is, like, it's common in his family for people to see ghosts. And he's in charge of Robin's case. And he's trying to track her down and figure out what's going on. There's a lot going on in this book, and it's chaotic, and just... And like I said, it wasn't my favorite in the series. I felt it was too chaotic with all the changing of characters. The, like, group that Adele is part of is, like, super messed up, and just... There's a line between messed up and just beyond what the hell are you doing. Just, I felt that the group was super messed up, and just, that I felt kind of turned me away from the story a lot. If you decide to skip this book, you aren't missing much. The story still goes super well with, for the series, still goes super well without it. And just, why? I feel this is, was just a huge bit of filler. One thing I did like about this is... We Hope and Carl do decide to take a break because Hope wants to learn how to control her powers without having to rely on Carl. And I think the best part of the whole book was that and a little bit of foreshadowing at the end that just kind of hints like there is kind of a storm coming. There is going to be something big that happens to the supernatural community down the road. And that's really the best part of this whole book right there in that little revelation took maybe a chapter. So, this is definitely my least favorite book in the series thus far. I didn't hate it, but it's... It made me upset. It upset me because all the books are so good and I absolutely love them. This one, not so much. This one... This one I could very happily have not gone on and read. I could have just skipped this one and been totally happy. What did everyone else... Anyone else who read this one, what are your thoughts and opinions on Living with the Dead? Did you not like it as much like me? Did you like it? Did you find things really messed up? So that is it for this book review, and I will see you guys next time.